The Goat House is back with Week 9 Power Rankings, ranking every NFL team from 32 to 1 every single Tuesday morning based on how they are currently playing let's take a look at the rankings for week nine make sure to check out our trade deadline coverage we already have a video up and there's plenty more to come we'll have our week nine video start to roll out tuesday night weekly pick show cannot wait but panthers coming in at 32 they're down a spot back where they kind of belong right after i mean half the team's out but they are really struggling right now it almost feels like they're throwing in the towel a little bit we'll see what they do at the deadline number 31 is going to be the tennessee titans who Another team, yeah, to watch the deadline could be sellers. They get obliterated by the Detroit Lions. They're down to 31. Number 30 is going to be the Saints. are down four spots. Yeah, Derek Carr coming back. They could be getting a little healthier, so they could get better. They could finally win a football game again, but they actually have to go out and do that to move up in the power rankings. They're on a massive losing streak. has not been pretty, so they're down four spots to number 30. 29, the Miami Dolphins could have won that game. Offense looked a lot better with Tua back. But they choked it away. And you can assume, we could predict that they're going to be a better football team. They're going to start winning football games with Tua back. But they actually have to go out there and do it. I can't move them up as they continue to lose. And as they choke a game away, still surprised they could not pull that one off. The defense kind of let them down at the end there. But they're remaining at 29. Number 28, Raiders put up somewhat of a fight with the Chiefs, but still very sloppy. They're down a spot to 28. 27, the Jets did not expect the Jets to be down here at any point during the season, before the season, but here we are in week nine, the middle of the season, where they're number 27, down four spots. Extremely disappointing team in general this year, but especially this week, losing to the Patriots, and there's the Patriots who, yeah, they've been losing football games, but they put up a fight with some teams, and they go out there and beat the Jets, and under interesting circumstances, have to switch quarterbacks, and May was playing pretty well, so that was kind of a shame but they still find a way to win. I think calls were kind of going against them in this game too, and they some crazy pass interference calls, so um, they find a way to win. They're going to go up six spots. It's easy to kind of go up some spots down here if you win a football game, and they're at number 26. The Jacks, they put at 25. Yeah, winnable game against the Packers. You could say they're playing a little bit better, but they suffer injuries, and there was still some sloppy play on both sides of the ball, including from Trevor Lawrence. They're at 25. The Giants, yeah, losing football games right now, but... Playing teams tough, I feel like they're better than the teams below them based on what they've shown us, so they're going to stay put at 24. A lot of winnable games they cannot win, though, so still a little sloppy as well. The Browns are going to go up a whopping seven spots. I mean, you beat the Ravens while you're kind of in comparison with the Giants, the Jags, Patriots, Jets, Raiders. You're going you're gonna to go up, you know, after a statement win. They look like a new team under Jameis Winston. We'll wait and see if that's the case, but we saw it for a week, and they look good, beat one of the hotter teams in football. So they're going to go up seven spots. They have some life here. They're going to be at number 23. Colts are down a spot. I suppose a winnable game against the Texans, even though it kind of felt like the Texans were outplaying most of that game. Uh, we'll see what they do at the quarterback position. Uh, heading into a matchup with the Vikings on Sunday night. They're at 22. Cowboys down three spots. Yeah, there was parts of that game where they looked pretty good. The beginning and the very end, but that middle, that sweet spot, they really struggled. They got dominated in that sweet spot, which kind of put the game out of reach for them, even though they technically had a shot at the end. But they're down three spots, 21. Dak's not consistent. Offensive line isn't great like it used to be. Um, defense is really struggling, too, and... Uh, no running game. I think it's a big thing right there. No running game. So it's weird seeing the Cowboys like that. The Seahawks are down four spots, number 20. Yes, they lost to a really good team in the Bills, but they got dominated. They had nothing going for them, nothing good going for them in a game like that. I, it kind of makes me wonder how they won that Falcons game. There was a couple fluky Falcons plays. Uh, so maybe that was it. Maybe a little bit of luck on the Seahawks side, but they do have that win under their belt at least recently. But uh, just a disappointing outing against the Buffalo Bills. They're down four spots, number 20. Can they put something consistent together? We'll see. They'll play the Rams this week. The Bengals are down five spots. You start to look at the Bengals' resume, and you realize that it's not a lot of good football in there. There's some games they probably should have won or could have won, but they did not. But they also don't have the best resume because they haven't beat good teams right now. In fact, the offense is solid, even though it kind of shut down as the game went on. But... Man, they got to put it together. The defense is really letting them down. They got they got to put some impressive quality wins up there. They're down five spots, number 19. 18, the Rams are up four spots. You can see they're probably trending in the right direction. A statement win against the Vikings. It was a little bit of a wild game, but offense getting going. Defense sort of getting going at the end, even though they really struggled for most of this game. But you can see they're trending in the right direction. Let's see if they can continue to go do that. Big game against the Seahawks this week. They're up four spots, number 18, after a statement win. 17, the Bears are an interesting one here. The Bears are down four spots, 17. It's interesting because they were very, very close. One play away from 
possibly moving up in the power rankings rather than down or at least staying put. So can you move them down four spots after you know one play loss? Maybe luck was against them in that play. Well, other teams needing to move up one, but if you did watch that game, the Bears did get outplayed by a bit for majority of that game. So if they did the outplaying and lost on the last play, maybe a bit a little different, but they're going to be down. I'm still wondering about that offense. It's still a little bit of a question. Is it better than the early weeks? Definitely not so much in that game, but can can they beat up? Can the offense actually look decent on more than just kind of the weaker defenses? So that's still a little bit of a question. No question about the defense, obviously, of the Chicago Bears, uh, even with the Hail Mary, not worried about that at all. Anything like that happened again, but yeah, that was a wild game for sure. 16, the Broncos are up a spot. Yes, they beat the Panthers, but they're looking like a better football team than earlier in the weeks. I do, perfect world, want to see them, you know, beat some good teams. They do have a win over the Bucks, you know, so that was good, but you know, when they matched up against the Chargers, felt like they were outmatched, but they're impressive so far. They, they show some good football recently on both sides of the ball, so they are in the top 16 once again. And there's the Chargers up five spots. Yes, they beat the Saints, but man, there it's a little bit more than that for the Chargers. Quite a few things. We knew the defense has been playing good all year, but in the offense, kind of the question, but they had a running game at least, but now the passing game's coming alive, which shouldn't really be a surprise. They have the Justin Herbert, right? But Lad McConkey coming alive. I mean, looking like a beast out there. So the passing game is elevating on top of everything, even with the lack of wide receivers, Herbert making some guys out there, right? Uh, but, and then look at the resume too. I mean, the Cardinals loss doesn't look as bad now. I know it's a loss, but, and that was one they very easily could have won. Came down to kind of a controversial call, if you will. But, uh, and they have that win against the Broncos, a statement win a couple weeks ago. So everything kind of looking brighter for the Chargers right now as they have been, uh, very impressive. So they are in the top 15, up five spots. 14, the Bucks go down two spots. Yeah, they're starting to lose. They have injuries. They do have an explosive offense still, and they still have – they've been impressive throughout the season, you know, for the most part, but things are starting to slip away. The defense is brutal right now, so they got to fix that. they got to turn things around here. They're down two spots to 14. They're a tricky team to rank as well, but if they keep losing, they're going to – if they lose again, they're probably going to plummet because it's starting a bigger losing streak, a streak in the wrong way there. 13, the Niners up two spots. Yeah, they've had an interesting season, a little disappointing, but also one of the more injured teams in football. Uh, Slow start against the Cowboys. And didn't love the ending, but right in that, I keep saying it, right in that middle, right in the when, the when it mattered most, they did their thing. They they played like the 49ers, and they completely outplayed the Cowboys, so possibly trending in the right direction. They typically win in prime time, so can they can they be a little more consistent? Christian McCaffrey nearing a return, so that is huge. All eyes on that. Number 12, the Cardinals go up a whopping seven spots. We've said one week. You know, I think they're hanging around the 17 to 24 range and a little bit maybe inside of that, but they had one week they look really good. Like, okay, the Cardinals, and they're up towards 18, somewhere around there. And there's one week where it's like the next week, it's like, oh, man, this team is bad, and they're down towards 23 in that range. Nothing consistent. They finally put something consistent together. They beat the Chargers last week. That's a big statement win. I know the Dolphins aren't the best team, but with Tua back, that offense, they beat them. They're clutch. Kyler Murray's had maybe, you know, having one of his better seasons yet. You know, so they're getting going right now, and they look like a solid team. They're in first place in that NFC West, so they are up seven spots to number twelve. A big game against the Bears in the matchup, maybe a, maybe against them because how good the Bears' defense is. But Cardinals have been the better team. That should be a really interesting game. See how the Bears bounce back from that hail mary loss. So. Very curious about that. Number 11, the Falcons will stay put. Pretty good win against the Buccaneers. Got a little sketchy at some point, but the offense was super explosive. The defense, even though they gave up yards and points, they made some clutch plays. 10 is going to be the Steelers. Yeah, the offense looks a lot better under Russ. Russ looks like he's, I don't want to say back to you know elite Russ, but he's way better than the Broncos, Russ. That's for sure. Do teams start to game plan for it? Because it's fairly new. We'll have to wait and see. But offense looks good. He looks good. The play action combined with the run game looks, I should say, the run game combined with the play action looks really solid. The defense continues the ball. TJ Watt looks like the best in football. So they, they look really solid. Tough to move them up around this range. They're very close to moving up, but... I think they're a firm 10 right now. This is where things kind of get a little interesting, a little rare. You got to stick with me here. But the Commanders do go down a spot. Rare for a team that won to go down a spot. And I'm going to reveal the next two teams while we're at it. I think that'll help a little bit. So you may say the Commanders 
kind of got lucky and won on the Hail Mary, so that's why they moved down. Not necessarily, but I will say if they went and dominated the Bears, which they were pretty close to, they just weren't getting touchdowns, they were getting field goals instead. If they would have went and finished that off and dominated the Bears or just played really, really well and complete against the Bears, I would not have been able to move them down. It would have been impossible. So maybe it plays a little part, but if you look at the teams ahead of them, it really it's the Eagles. The Eagles are on a streak, the defense continues to play good, and now the offense really gets going against a team that was heating up, and they were underdogs against the Bengals. So the Eagles definitely have been a little bit more impressive if you combine all the games right now, leading the most recent games being the most important. So the Eagles had to move up, and I most definitely didn't feel that the Ravens should move below the Commanders. Head-to-head isn't everything, but since they're so close and the Ravens just beat the Commanders a couple weeks ago, that's pretty big for me there. So Commanders... they're the, they end up how they're playing right now at the number nine spot. It makes total sense. And then the Ravens, after a brutal loss to the Browns, uh, they're gonna you're gonna move down for that. So they're gonna go down, go down four spots, even though they're one of the more impressive offenses in football over the stretch of I don't know several weeks. Defense is a little bit of a question. I think they'll be fine, but uh, that was that was a tough one. And then the Eagles again, we kind of touched on. They're looking really solid right now. They're continuing to climb. It was tough not moving them up more, but it was difficult also to do that. Can't really. Uh, have them hop over some of those top six teams based on how they are currently playing for the most part. But uh, Eagles look really good on both sides of the ball. People doubted them in that game, uh, and they dominate that. They actually win big. So they're up two spots to number seven, kind of getting back on track of being those Eagles, right? Number six, the Texans. Wasn't the most impressive thing, but they had control. It was kind of similar to the first Colts game where it's like they're in the lead. It's kind of they're going to, they would have to choke this game away to lose it. Uh, you know, so they, they, they handle business there for the most part, but they, they could be playing a little better ball. I suppose they're, they're at number six. Uh, if we had a nitpick and you know, they could be playing a little better ball, the Vikings lose another one and drop it to the Rams is a wild game. The officiating was crazy in that game. I mean, the Vikings did, you could say play well enough to win the offense for sure. Defensively. Yeah. The, the defense was struggling against you know, a good, smart quarterback, Matt Stafford. They did get stops that didn't end up counting, so it was definitely a controversial game, but they lost. Defense is starting to decline a little bit, uh, but they do, do move down a couple spots. They do still have a really good resume. You know, Dominating the Texans is a big one, so tough to have them plummet. If they lose to the Colts on Sunday Night Football, they will plummet. They will fall big, big time uh, in these rankings next week. I guess it always depends on what the other teams do around you. Like, say, the Texans, Eagles, Ravens, Commanders, Steelers all lost. And you got some interesting, you got something interesting going on. But I doubt that all that happens. So they're down two spots, number five. Number four, the Packers will go up a spot. Uh, you know what I like about the Packers? It's a really well coached team. It's a really good football team. It gets proved, with, you know, love going down and Malik Willis having to come in and. They don't miss a beat, right? They still look really solid. They can throw the ball. They can run the ball. They can play some clutch defense at the same time. It's a little bit of a sketchy game. It wasn't perfect. But, again, it's a really solid team that's continuing to get better, win games. And it's a very well-coached football team. So they're up a spot to number four as they continue to win. And that kind of felt like a little bit of a trap game. And do have the, they do have the Texans win from a week ago as well. So they are at number four. They have a huge one against the Lions this week. The Bills, absolutely dominant performance against the LC Hawks, who, since they got healthier against the Falcons, I mean, they dominated the Falcons. I know there was a little bit of some you know, luck on their side in that game, but they dominated that game, and it's like, okay, watch out for these Seahawks. And then the Bills come to town and just dominate them, make them look like one of the worst teams in football. And the Bills, my favorite part about the Bills, they looked absolutely complete, and they are one of those teams that if you had to pick out teams, who's the closest to complete? We knew we knew the Bills are up there, but they looked absolutely complete. Again, I always kind of rip on them from the run defense just because they're that close to being great, and that's kind of their one flaw, but the run defense was very solid in this game. Love the game by Keon Coleman. Love the game by everybody in a Buffalo Bills uniform. There really isn't too many of those, honestly. I I mean, the Lions maybe have been putting some of those together. I mean, the Chiefs are undefeated. But how many games have teams, the teams dominated games, but how many games where you go, everything was pretty flawless for that team and the other team looked like nothing was working. Not too many games like that. So really impressed with the Bills off that one. They are up to number three, up four spots. And one and two is going to remain. The Chiefs at two, the Lions at one. And it is a little tricky because it's so hard to stay undefeated and the Chiefs remain undefeated. So it is so tough not to have them at one. But a big part of this, these rankings that, you know, I created the system. It's because I watch a ton of football. I watch as much football as anyone. It's how, what it's an eye test. 
how what I see, how I feel about football teams. And it just feels like the Detroit Lions. And if they were losing, the feeling would probably go away. But they're winning, and they're dominating teams, and they have statement wins. But it just feels like the Detroit Lions are the best team in football right now. Uh, I think they have the best offense in football right now. I, you know, I know it's debatable with the – Ravens, the Lions are the best offense in football right now. I think they're the best team in football right now. But, um, yeah, they play the Titans. They scored 52 points. They're even adding the special teams. I mean, the special teams have been all right. But even adding that, taking it up another notch. Complete team, it feels like right now. The defense, perfect world, could be a little bit better. But they're playing really, really good football. So it is tough not having the Chiefs at one. Uh, But it's kind of a 1A, 1B situation with the Bills kind of creeping up and uh, Vikings have been chilling at the top for a while. They're starting to decline a little bit there. Obviously, got to turn it around. The Eagles are starting to get back up where we think the Eagles, based on their talent, their roster should belong. And the Ravens kind of let us down, moving down a little bit. So there's your rankings. Yeah, the Lions-Packers game this week is going to be a big one. Obviously, one versus number four. I hope the Packers are healthy just so we get a big-time game. It'll be interesting to see who we pick in tonight's picks videos for, for week nine uh, every Tuesday night, excuse me, but yeah, it's going to be a really interesting game. I saw that in the schedule a couple weeks ago, and I'm like, oh, I think the, most people are going to pick the Lions. I think the Packers in Lambeau probably win that game. Last time we saw them play last year, you know, the Packers kind of figured them out, but uh, the Lions are looking so good right now, and the Packers dealing with a couple things, so it makes it very, very tough. I do think the Lions, are, as you can tell, are the better team right now, though, so uh, we'll see who I end up picking. The rest of the guys end up picking a game like that, but a lot of good ones this week as we approach... In a very important time of the season, mid-season, where we kind of figure out the team's true identities as they make a pu- pu- push excuse me, for the playoffs. Uh, but really excited about the trade deadline. We had a big video go up very recently. It was actually the most recent video, that I, or the two videos ago, I should say. And then we definitely have more coming. I'm going to have several more, at least a few more trade deadline videos. I love this time of the year. I know you guys too. So, And then keep up to date with us with live news on our Twitter slash X. There are links pinned in the comments. Going to do it for this one. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Goodbye.